and yeah, then it's good and now there's this whole like uh, burst of new people coming to the scene like what do you think is feeding into that there's like a huge growth engine in toronto like a t massive talent pool yeah and, like me and i were trying to talk about it beforehand like what is contributing to everybody coming from toronto right yeah i mean i for <clears throat> me it's drake like period i really think it's drake um it's drake the weekend but i mean drake you know, it's, it's still Drake yeah, at the yeah, end of the day. Yeah. Music in a, in the States, R&B and hip hop, they looked at Canadian artists as not authentic to the culture. And Drake really figured out how to navigate that space in the U.S. and having the cosigns, the, the, the Lil Wayne cosign was a really big deal. And having that and him really putting in that work made Toronto more of a thing when you make it when you make a city cool in hip hop it's cool you know right. he made that happen and um once he opened those doors and the you know the weekends and the party next door and even Bieber in the, on the pop side those little moves all together create a huge wave and now everywhere I go they get people get excited I used to say I was from Toronto and people were like what now they're like you from Toronto well they say Toronto yeah yeah Toronto. Oh, I know. I'm I'm like, scratching, Toronto. Nails, scratching nails in the chalkboard. Eh? Oh, kill me now. <laughs> I'm like, uh huh, you never been, huh? <laughs> well, our tourism would love to see you come in August. And, like, and, and, <laughs> and what is your connection to Drake? Because there's a lot of stuff out there about you and Drake and, yeah. and your connection. What What is your connection to Drake? We met when we were really young uh, 13, he was 14. He wow. was on Degrassi, and I had like mm -hmm. one song, oh, Unpredictable, was out. The music video was out. We met. He became my first real industry friend but like real friend and he was getting into music at that time too not, not yet not no. yet right he, he was, was just still acting. just acting yeah. yeah you know we were both only children biracial ties to the u.s you know local celebrities he couldn't go places i couldn't go places and it was isolating for him it was isolating for me so we just had each other really and um oftentimes we would just sit there and and plot and scheme just plot and scheme, like, how do we get into a meeting with so-and-so? Well, if you get into a meeting with so-and-so, can you tell them about me? Yeah, you tell me. Like, that was literally all we used to do. Yeah. Um, and just... You were dreaming together. Daydream. Like, the sun would come up, and we would have been talking for, like, eight hours about our plotting and scheming and what wow. we imagined for our lives. And um, he just always was my support system. Like, he would come to a show, and if something, you know, didn't go right, he would be like it's okay you're dope or he was the one that made me want to sing more in my falsetto I didn't know my falsetto was so great he was the one that was like you need to really get into that or certain songs like he'd leave my crib blasting my music in the car and he got close to my mom so then you know that was really a cute relationship and he understood music obviously oh if he's telling you to sing in your falsetto you know it's funny because he is one of the best writers, period, that I know. And even then, before he was making music, you can't ask the man, how are you, without getting the wittiest response ever. Like, he's just a witty person. I have, like, letters he's written me that were just witty as shit. Like, he's just that guy. He's right. always been that guy. He's always been good at English. Scrabble king, like, beat your ass in Scrabble every single wow. day of the week, eyes closed. Like, he's just always that guy. So I always imagined him in that space, and he was so talented, and he has such a good ear for music. So when he did get into music, it was so fun for me. Like, it was an exciting time. <laughs> it was exciting, you know? It's like, yes, come on, you know? It was, it was so it was so dope. And just his wordplay, it just always made sense uh, for me. So, yeah, we just share that, like, special bond, and it's just so nice to see him be successful. And did you grow up together? Because you've yeah. known each other since you were 14. Yeah, like we grew up together, and um, it's just been fun watching him succeed. It's He's one of those people that... It doesn't matter what he does, it doesn't matter where I see him, if we're at the same party, if we're talking, if I see him on television, I always know what he's thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I always know. It doesn't matter, like anything could happen and I'm like, okay, man. Like I just can't help it, you know? Yeah. But I'm like protective of him too, you know, because he was so protective of me and he is still to this day, he's very protective of me. But I feel like, yeah, there's that kind of kinship. Yeah, well you've known each other since you were so young. Yeah. And, you know, when you come up with someone like that, that's something that is such a special bond. No one can ever take that away from Never. you or understand it either. Never you know? understand and so it. So yeah. I, I, I get that. I get that. It's like, you know, people I went to theater school with, 
we've both moved to LA and kind of come up together. Like there's, you know, you see the trials and tribulations and how hard the other person had to work to get to where they are. Yes. And, and you've seen them, like you said, dreaming and then living the and reality. manifesting at a high level. And you're level. like, holy crap, you did it. Like you, you did, did it. it. It's, you did it's it. insane. It's insane. insane, and it's nice to... And the level to which he did it at. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. that's next level. And that's the work level. that he put in, it was it's beautiful mm-hmm. to watch, but I will say that it's nice to see It's nice to see him succeed. It's nice to have been around in like certain areas, but the best part about it is at that time, I didn't have anyone I could trust, and it's nice to have someone that you, you know loves you genuinely for you, and it's not none of this. Yeah. You it's know? not about that. And yeah. vice versa. Yeah. I know he feels that way. It's nice to know that, like, you know, I, I loved you before all of this. And yes. and that's, like, that's me. It's in, this, in the world that we live in, it's so, val- like, to me, it means the world to me to know that there's someone that's, like, you you know me for real. You yeah. Know? That's yeah. so sweet. 